Hi, it's Lori from Ridgehaven Homestead, and today I just have a quick little project that I'm sharing. It's not even so much of a how-to because it's so easy, but I thought I would share how I made a easy, quick boho balance from bandanas. We just needed some way to spruce up the little enclosure where we walk in before we get to our camper. It's a little room that we keep the wood stove and shoes and just overflow since camper life is kind of small. Um, we also have three windows in there and for the longest time, like three years or more. Um, they've been bare and something, I don't really know what, maybe it's when I cleaned the windows this year for the first time, just truth in advertising. When I cleaned the windows, I realized, hey, these guys need something to spruce them up to make them a little bit more interesting. And so I love bandanas. It gives you kind of a homey feel. So I just thought, well, let's try bandanas because that'll be fun. And um, I had some bandanas that I like wear in my hair that I've gotten from the dollar store here and there. And so I think I had six bandanas. And so I tried it with those six. And um, it was cute, but I needed more color. So I ordered some, a pack of 36 with 18 different colors from Amazon. And um, that gave me so many colors. In fact, I only used one of each of the colors. And now I have, um, 18 bandanas left over to figure out something to do with. So um, anyway, super easy, super quick. I'm gonna put the little um, pictures in as I'm talking. So hopefully you've already seen some, but let's head into the enclosure and just take a look at what it looks like. Here we are in the enclosure and this is one of the windows that um, we put the little balance on. And it's so easy. I mean, it's not, like I said, it's not really a so much of a tutorial it's just hey look what we did and you can do it too because it's really easy all you have to do is um, cut your bandanas into strips and I started out cutting them in about two inch strips and that's how I did the whole first um, the first one and then I realized you know what I don't like it so much like that I like it with them a little bit more flowy I'm sure you can see out my window and there's all kinds of stuff so, um, yeah, so I ended up making them about an inch and a half each, or even a little bit less. The, obviously, the more colors, or the more skinny you cut them, the more strips you're gonna get, and the, it, maybe the farther you'll get, but, but really, um, it just depends how much you wanna overlap them and everything. So there's all those okay. colors. This is another window that I did. Would, would pile out there. So here we go, you get the whole effect. Sorry about that, I didn't do that before. I just think it's really cute. It's fun, it kind of has a same theme because they're all bandanas. You can do this with random scraps of fabric, which is fine, but um, I just wanted a theme. Okay, here's the last, um, the last one and it's hidden behind a bunch of stuff, part of it is. So this one didn't get as um, condensed with um, with strips because it's just, it's on the window where we have um, a lot of stuff in front of it, like, you know, pipelines and stuff. But um, I'm sure you get the idea. The only detail you might want to know is how to hook them on. So all I did was loop them around just like, I think it's called the clove hitch. I'm gonna take this one down so you can see. Um, of course it got tangled up with the other one. <laughs> That's just my luck. Okay, so all you do is you just fold it in half and take it and you just loop it around. And I did not worry about if the, um, the ends were even because I really sort of didn't want them to be even. 
so since I'm doing this with one hand, I'm, let's see if you can get the idea. Really, it's easier with two hands. Anyway, you just loop it around and pull it through and then just kind of ruffle it however you decide you like it. You can, um, you can concentrate these as close or as far out as you want. Um, I squish these together to give it a kind of a, you know, lots of colors all together. But if you want to space them out and give it more of a less cramped look, that's perfectly fine. You just do whatever floats your boat. You could do two colors. You could do red, white, and blue. You could do all the um, colors of the rainbow and do a pattern. I specifically did not want a pattern. I wanted it to be random, kind of fun, and just very um, random. But I've seen where people will make them with fabric strips and they'll use certain colors and that's kind of fun. When I made my first sample one, I used I think six or five different colors and I kind of did them peach, turquoise, yellow, whatever in a pattern and I didn't like it. It was too too um, regular for me. <laughs> I'm just too irregular, I guess. So anyway, um, this whole thing with these strips for the three windows, and these windows are three feet wide. So I used um, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, um, once I was at the end and I had enough on here, I was trying to think of more projects to use bandana strips and I didn't come up with any yet, so if you think of any, you can tell me. But um, I finally just wadded them up in a ball and put them in a bag with um, some sewing fabric. And if I get an inspiration at some point, I will um, pull them out, otherwise I'll just toss them. I don't have a lot left over, but I do have some. So anyway, that gives you an idea. And um, the one last thing, how I attach these. Okay, I took a dowel, and this dowel is um, half an inch dowel. And then I had to get a um, 7 eighths inch, um, one of those things, cup hooks to hook it on with. So that it fit in there and so that's all I did I just got those at Lowe's and screwed them in hooked them up didn't worry about doing anything with the dowels because they're pretty much all covered anyway so anyway boho shabby chick random rainbow whatever you like to call it that's what it is a cute little valance for you okay here I am outside and you can you see them behind me inside hanging there. It's just kind of colorful. I told you wrong and I'm going to go back and correct that but I want to show you my dowel that I got is half inch so I did tell you correctly on that but what I told you wrong was the size of the cup hooks. Turns out that for um, the half inch dowel I needed one and a quarter inch. I did try the seven eighths at the store but the inside of the um, cup hook wouldn't hold the um, the dowel. I'll show you. You have to. You can get whatever size you want. Honestly, I don't really think it's gonna matter. The only thing you have to make sure here I am, is that um, here we go. So you have your your cup hook here like this, wherever it is. And you have your dowel, and you just have to make sure it fits in there. Of course, I dropped it. Let's do it down here. Okay. Okay, you got your cup hook. <laughs> I'm like the most clumsy person. Cup hook. Dowel. You have to make sure they fit. And give it a little bit of, you know, wiggle room. Um, you don't want it to be tight. You don't want it to be, like, really super tight so just get it so it fits comfortably and then um, 
it was just a few dollars. I don't know. I don't think it was that much for the dowels, and it wasn't that much for a, a pack of um, a whole bunch of these. And I have lots of uses for these cups, all kinds of things. So that was my simple, simple thing, and it took me longer to tell you about it than the whole thing. But I have a little video where I'm actually putting the strips on, so you can see it if you want. But keep coming back we're gonna have more stuff that we do sometimes it's simple sometimes it's um, fun sometimes it's garden like and subscribe do all that stuff that they say and um, have a happy day